Oh, Nelly Furtado. It's the end of the beta, Abs. Huh? It's the end of the beta. Is it? Yeah. Tomorrow, FM releases properly on FM22. Exciting. I have to thank you as well, by the way. Since you won that game for me while I was having a bath, the form is really upturned. <laughs> It's better than you. It's not even a lie view, it's actually true. <laughs> I let Abby handle the game for me while I was in the bath. And um, we won. And then we've been really, really good since. I'm so happy right now. It's the final episode of the beta. There is nothing to play for, but I thought, you know, let's finish it off nice and roundly on season two. Actually, it's still season one. Because I got sacked early. But you know me, I'm a sucker and a, I'm a sucker for punishment. How have we been doing, everyone? Welcome back to the final episode of the FM Beta with Wolves. Oh, wait, no, with Bristol City because I got sat by Wolves. It's been a really, really long time since we last met. I'm sorry it's been a little bit here, there and everywhere. As you can tell, like it, the beta hasn't gone the way I hoped it would. All right, Not in terms of episodes, not in terms of the actual trajectory. I'm hoping that the other saves on this season are going to be much better. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a handle on the base. I've been playing a lot with Liverpool in my spare time. There'll be a video coming out on that because there's something very, very special going on there. But this is how it's been then um, since the last time that we met, which was... I can't even remember. It was definitely before January. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. Abby won the game against Stoke, where you can tell before that I hadn't had a very good time. Then after that, we've only lost four games and won more. So we haven't had a draw since February, which is very exciting. I've obviously made a lot of signings that I made in January. A lot of them were to do with actual loan signings. I'm going to quickly whiz through that before we have the final game of the season. Carl Jacob Hine, I bought him from Arsenal in goal. He's been absolutely brilliant for me. He's taken over from Daniel Bentley. Uh, Kellen Acosta came in from Wolfsburg. He's been very good, actually, I have to say. He's been a, a particularly good signing. Uh, again, in on loan, but with an option to buy him at the end, which I think I will do, because I'm probably going to continue the save anyway afterwards for myself personally. Nat Phillips, obviously, had to get him in. Got Adalberto Penaranda, a player I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with. Cole Palmer, obviously we knew. Nico Williams and Reese Devine. Uh, the, all these guys have kind of come in and have saved my season, essentially, because we were really, really struggling. I also managed to sign Jürgen Lacardia, if people remember him from Brighton. I might have already gone over these players. It's literally been so long since I, I recorded an episode of the save, and for that I'm so sorry. Long story short, though, is that we're going to finish probably around about 9th or 10th, I would hazard a guess, this season. The, the usual candidates have gone up. It is season two. I've completely lost the plot. It is season two. Because Newcastle came down and I've gone, and gone back up. I'm so sorry. Bularecki and the other saves won't be like this. I promise. But yeah, I think we've done well. We were predicted to finish 18th at the start of the season. It's all came back to me now. Um, and yeah, we've done really, really well. Raul Jimenez, Callum Wilson have scored. What's that? 60 goals between them. We never had a hope. Never had a prayer. The only thing that could be decided today is if Reading or Swansea get up into that final promotion place playoff. We were actually in there, um, in for that final playoff thing, with around about a few games to go. And then it all just fell apart a little bit, to be honest. It just didn't quite get there in the end. The reason we're for the upturning form is that I changed the formation to the 4 4 2 in diamond formation. Since then, we've been sort of so much better like really really we really have been so much better since i changed to this formation and i have to say i'm very very excited about potentially using this in future saves because at least now i know that we can use it if that makes any sense so this will be the final team then for the final game of the season i'm sorry it's all kind of come rushing out there but i just want to put like a little bit of nice kind of closed end to it we finished season two let you know where i stand and then if i do ever continue if i do do this like an experiment video to let you know how i got on afterwards you can always come back to it uh hines and gold davine atkinson phillips and acosta make up the back four then you've got james in the middle with viner and bakinson 
as our midfield three. Uh, then Scott is in behind Lacadia and Palmer. I did bring Matty James back in, I have to say. He has been pretty good. Maybe it was a mistake not playing him for the first half of the season. I'll let you be the judge. But the most important thing is that I am gearing up for uh, the next save. And that one, obviously, is going to be Billy Ricky, which I'm hoping, provided the full game comes out tomorrow, uh, starts tomorrow, basically, at 5pm. And obviously, I'll keep the Rangers save going. Uh, and that will be coming back on Wednesday. Then we've got TYC starting tomorrow as well over on Twitch. I'm very excited. We've scored a goal, but I forgot I've got it on really fast highlights. This, this has been a complete and utter mess up. This is actually quite good metaphorically for the save. Cole Palmer score. That's all you need to know as we, we start taking the lead against Nottingham Forest. This is genuinely like the save wrapped up into like one little moment, to be fair. It's a brilliant ball in by Reese Devine, and Palmer's just there. He's been really, really good. Like, really good. Cole Palmer is definitely one to watch out for um, on FM this year. He's got a lot of talent. What I can say is, while this hasn't obviously been one of my best saves, what I would say is thank you, obviously, very much, everyone, for tuning in and all the support on it. Um, obviously it's going to be Joe Lolly hits over the bar there the next save with Billy Ricky is going to be I'm, I can't tell how much I've been looking forward to it I've been going back and re-watching um, bits of TYC to um, see obviously how I kind of got there and all that and just even being there has just made me so excited I've even purchased stuff for the save which hopefully you will see soon it's all very very exciting and uh, yeah there, there's lots of stuff going on I'm going to actually make a trip down there not to uh, not to get you all too excited, but um, I've taken a week off work so I can actually go down and see it. I'm really, really, really excited. Oh, it's going to be so good. He says as he gets sacked in December. If I'm lucky, it might even be November. That'd be a really, really good thing to ask you all in the comment section. In the big Ricky save, by what stage do you think I'm going to get sacked by the club and we have to start again with another team? Because I can't promise it won't happen. As Viner finds James, he finds Lacardio, tees it to Reese Devine. That's a brilliant effort and unlucky. Hits the uh, hits the upright and goes uh, goes wide. There's a lot of really good players at Bristol City. Have a lot of really good youngsters that I've kind of got my eye on for any future saves. Alex Scott hits it against the bar. He's definitely won. I think the hit, this will not be the last time you see him in a in a team on my channel. That is for sure. Alex Scott looks like he is the absolute the business. Let's put it that way. Got to say, it was a fast start, and we, we dominated the half easily, but, um, yeah, pretty much the same as it's been most of the season, really. We actually play quite well in the majority of games, but don't really put teams to the sword, and then we've always got a mistake in us, and I'm finding it really hard to be um, not profligate, to be clinical. Clinical? Clinical is the opposite of profligate? Probably. Uh, I'm finding it very hard to be clinical in this year's game. You can tell that we've had 11 shots, only two on target, which is obviously a bit of a problem. Um, I've definitely got strikers that can finish in this division. It's just for whatever reason. Um, we're, we're just not as clinical as I'm sure a lot of the other teams in the league are. And that's just been... A, a, there was a problem I had at Wolves. It's a problem I've got now. The beta has been good, even though, obviously, I would definitely not classify this save as a success i think it has been in the sense of that i know what i need to look out for maybe in the in the in the big game coming up as atkinson their scores from a corner to make it two and you'd like to think game over it has helped me realize what i need to look out for in the full release because it does tend to follow trends as football manager and this trend of being xg seems to have continued from last year which as you can imagine i'm delighted about but Hopefully, there'll be ways around it, and I'm finding formations that I quite like. I like this diamond that works. I've been messing around with a few other formations on my Liverpool save. I've been messing around with some of those just to see what's working, what isn't. But it's difficult when you play with a team like Liverpool on FM. It's the same, I would say, for like City or United or Chelsea. So if you play with a team that Alex Scott makes it three, great finish. If you play around with teams like that, it doesn't really matter what formation you play because your players are just that good that you're going to win the majority of games. So it doesn't really tell you a lot. Do you see what I mean? And I think, especially not in the beta, and I think that's part of the problem. You have to go through some pain to find stuff that works for you. And this diamond formation definitely works. It definitely works. We're not the strongest team in the division, but we only lose really to the strongest teams since I've changed to it. We've only really lost to teams that are undoubtedly better than we are 
Good play there by Baconson to find Nat Phillips and Nat Nat. That's not good, mate. Nat Phillips gives the ball away. It's the first mistake I've seen him make since I signed him. I like how I was saying about us not being clinical. We've scored three out of the five shots we've had on target today. So, don't know if that's necessarily true. Oh my god, it's gone straight through to Alex Scott. He's in for his second. He's hit it. And it's hit the bar again. That's the second time he's hit the bar today. He could have had a hat-trick, arguably. Honestly, I just can't wait. I cannot wait for the full game to get released so I can just get stuck into Billy Ricky. It's I've never been so excited about a save in so long. Like I, I mean, obviously, I was a little bit excited about the beta, but you know, it's not going to be a long-term save. Whereas I just that's the third time we've hit the woodwork. I just know that the Billy Ricky save is going to be a long-term save, and that just gets me really, really excited. It's the first time I've done a kind of proper road to glory with a single team on the channel, and I cannot wait to do that and by road to glory i literally mean non-league to champions league which is also the title hey! see what i did there a 3-1 win to finish off the season and the best thing for me is that that's given me a bit of hope a hope that i cannot get sacked by bilirike who i would like to add i'm not doing very well in the valorama nationals health but we'll get on to that at a later date Ultimately, a really, really good season then, I think, for Bristol City overall. Shame we couldn't make the playoffs, but when you look at it, considering the start we made, um, which wasn't great, we didn't actually finish too far behind. Only eight points. We did a lot of really good work in the second half of the season. And if I were to continue the save, which I might do privately, uh, plenty to look forward to. Plenty to look forward to. And um, we'll do the end of season review here for Bristol City very quickly, because obviously the majority of us have missed it. Uh, looks like Falsonelli got player at the uh, signing of the season, which I uh, no. Oh, I got an A plus in management. An A plus. That's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Our biggest win came against Nottingham Forest. Fact that we got very, we got the wood on them. That's for sure. Um, I remember was our three one win over Birmingham. Oh, I remember it. Remember it well. Finances are solid. Team is solid. Nat Phillips was amazing. I think he might get our player of the year. He does. Nat Phillips gets player of the year. Young player of the year was Jacob Hine. All those players that don't actually belong to Bristol City. Then you've got Falsonelli was signing the season. Not sure how, but okay. Cole Palmer was top goal scorer. Most assist was Joe Williams at 10. Uh, Cole Palmer got 18 goals, which is pretty decent. Player of the match, Reese Devine, who I thought would probably be our player of the season, but not to be. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Finishing 8th overall. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, let's have a look at my profile come the end. Um, wow, is all you can say. I mean, what what, what a manager I, I've ended up being. Um, games played 75, won 28, drawn 22, lost 25. Goals for 98, goals against 97. A goal difference of plus one. At least it's positive. And uh, win percentage of 37%. So I win... Just over one in every three games, which is fantastic. I mean, who wouldn't want to hire me? Well, what I'm going to say, viewers, is thank you very, obviously, very much for watching the beta save. It's only been 10 episodes. It's been short and not so sweet. But at least it's had a semi-happy ending in the sense that I didn't get sacked again. I forgot what season we were in. It was actually season two, not season one. Shows you how memorable it's been. But I have actually learned a lot from the game, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into Billy Ricky, which, provided the full game comes out tomorrow, and I haven't heard anything else, should mean that your first episode will be tomorrow. Depends on what time they release it. Hopefully it's bright and early in the morning, and then I can get stuck into it, because I've taken the entire week off to sit down and play Football Manager. Oh. And spend time with you, Abs, obviously. Thank you very much for watching the series, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously, if you have, then please do drop a like on the video, share, subscribe. It's not been that successful, but Good of Rick A will be different, as will TYC, which also kicks off tomorrow. And I'll be back with Rangers again on Wednesday for another bit of streaming fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your week. And until I see you again tomorrow, take care of yourselves, everybody, and stay cool. Bye!